<laughs> yeah, it felt like it felt like the Bahamas yesterday. Um, yeah, beautiful weather. Was not expecting that on New Year's Day at all. Um, but we'll take it. We're, we're, we're glad to be finishing the, the season in the Dome, though, for sure. You guys kind of balance, obviously, winning the game yesterday to find out a little bit later that, you know, Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the last three weeks have gone well for us. And um, you hate to have to rely on other teams to kind of get you in the playoffs. And, you know, we kind of did it to ourselves towards the, the middle of the season. Um, so that's tough. I mean, you, you wish those things kind of go your way, but you kind of control what you can control. And when things are outside of your control, it makes it more difficult. What, uh, what's the interaction with JT Gray after a play like that? <laughs> well, obviously, outstanding play by him yesterday. Um, he's always good for a couple of those a year. So, um, I mean, obviously, our captain on special teams and an all pro last year, he's always going to make plays like that. And it's good to have him on our side, always. Yeah, I think, you know, um, some games that probably I wish I'd performed better. I um, felt like I put together some, some good games and then had, like, maybe one punt here or there that I want to have back. So there's a couple games like that. Um, to kind of go out yesterday and be consistent the whole game is kind of what I'm looking for every week. And just eliminating that, that one bad punt maybe here or there every game is kind of the biggest thing for me at this point. Do you feel like yesterday was one of your best games of the season? Yeah, I felt like I hit the ball really consistently and well in different types of situations, not just from backed up or near, near midfield or um, when they're bringing rushes or anything like that. I thought overall it was pretty good. Particularly in, in, in the second half, I mean, they only started two drives beyond their own 14, and your, your leg had a lot to do with that. Is that something that, like, your kind of – do they charge you with that in a way, like in the second half, like get them back, like go out there and do what you got to do? Yeah, I think especially when you're playing a team like Philadelphia, you need to pin them back as much as possible. Just give them, you know, they're playing with a backup quarterback, put them in field position where that's not advantageous for them. Um, it's not really explicitly stated, um, but, you know, that's kind of my goal every single time, regardless of what team we're playing, is to put our defense in the best position to be successful. And I felt like, you know, as a, a punt team as a whole did that yesterday. They brought some aggressive rushes, and we handled the, the rush as well. Got roughed up one time. They don't call, but, you know, it's going to happen. Do you enjoy that, that pressure, right, that role? Yeah, I think um, my position is very unique in the sense that you go 30, 45-minute stretches of not playing, and then you go out there for, for one 30-second play, and you're off the field for another 30 minutes. So it's a little bit different, you know, than other positions, but I think – it comes down to, in that moment, just being able to rely on your fundamentals and, and your preparation, and I find that pretty, pretty fun. Was there any, any message or approach or adjustment that stands out that, that, that you think led you guys playing some of your best football in the center? Yeah, I think it's just we've been playing loose. I think that's been a big part of it. Um, you know, I feel like we've always had the talent on this team to do, to do great things in all three phases, and I think – the last couple of weeks, we've kind of put together good football throughout the game, not just in a half, but complementary football as well. Uh, defense is playing great. I think the offense is taking advantage of the defense playing well. And then I think special teams-wise, we've kind of complemented those two phases as well. So just playing all around good football. And that's what it comes down to. It's a hard, it's hard league to win in. Um, the other team gets paid the same salary cap we do. So um, it's just tough to win every week. And I think the last three... Hopefully the, the next week as well. Just finish off the season strong. Big deal. How impactful is a strong finish to the season for your off season and looking ahead to the next year? Yeah, I think people always talk about momentum, and I think finishing the season strong could go a long way to, you know, a good feeling in the off season, OTAs, training camp, stuff like that, um, and just chemistry in the locker room, feeling in the locker room. I think it's a big deal regardless of playoffs or not. I know we're officially eliminated, but I think guys are still playing really hard, and you've seen that the last three weeks. Um, and there's no quit in this team. So I think you know, that's kind of the identity of us, this organization, and kind of uh, turning it around with, like we have the last three weeks has been, been really big. Juwan had mentioned you know, the last few weeks was kind of 
playing for DA, and he said, he was just explaining, you know, there are years that you know, players don't always like their coach, and it's the fact that y'all are still playing hard shows that that's not the case. But I guess what about what about Dennis makes y'all like playing for him? What do you like about him as a coach? Yeah, I think DA is a really calming presence, to be honest with you. Um, I know people say it about Andy as well. I think guys gravitate, gravitate towards those two guys because regardless of the situation, it doesn't seem like stuff's chaotic or anything like that. And I think that's a large part of DA's personality. Um, you know, team meetings and things like that, it's not, it's not being aggressive or getting on guys or stuff or things of that sort. It's more of, you know, holding guys accountable. And um, I mean, we all know our, our job is to play well. We're not trying to, you know, mess up on game days. They're not trying to coach the game poorly or anything like that. But, you know, you work through stuff first year as a head coach um, with this organization. And I think, you know, it's gone to show the last three weeks. We're still playing hard. Three wins is, is a big deal to close out this season. So I think, you know, you always kind of go through growing pains when you change a coach that's been here for 15, 16 years. And I think you're kind of starting to show what kind of team we can be next year.